Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Maytag dryer, idle or pulley arm. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new idler pulley arm. The idler pulley arm is what the pulley wheel rides on. The main reason to be changing it out is if the shaft is damaged and it's making noise. In order to change the part, we have to go around to the back of the dryer. Now that we're around back, we're going to use a quarter inch nut driver to take out the screws to hold this access panel on. Once you have the screws out, you can pull the panel off and set it aside. Now we can take the belt off the pulley. We're just going to reach in and take the idler pulley bracket and push it towards the side of the machine to take the tension off the belt and then unhook it from the motor pulley. Now that we have the belt off, we can take off the idler pulley arm. We're just going to take the whole assembly out. So we're going to use a 5 16 inch nut driver to take out this lower screw. Once you have the screw out, we can reach in and grab the spacer and the screw and pull it out and set it aside. Now we can reach in and unhook the spring from the idle arm. All you have to do is unhook it. Once you have it free, you can pull it out of the dryer. Now that we have the assembly out, first thing we're going to do is take the idler wheel off. We're going to use the flathead screwdriver to pop the E-clip off and then pull off the first washer. Then the wheel and the second washer. If you're changing the idler arm out because the shaft is going bad, it's usually because the bearing inside the pulley has gone bad, so you want to make sure you check that too and replace the pulley if needed. Then we're going to use the quarter inch nut driver to take out the screw that holds the spacer on. Once you have that off, we're going to set the spacer aside and we can put the new parts on. Here's the old idler pulley arm next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at ApplianceParsPros.com. First, we're going to put the spacer back on. Just want to line it up. It was lined up on these two holes on our particular model. Just going to put it in place and then turn it over. We can use the quarter inch nut driver to put in the screw that holds it on. Once you have that tightened down, we can put the wheel back on. First we're going to put the first washer down, then the wheel. When you put this on, you'll notice that the wheel has a flat spot. You want to make sure that that goes towards the back of the dryer. So put it on just like this. Then we can put the second washer on and lock it on with the E-clip. Once you have the E-clip started, you grab the flathead screwdriver and push it so it locks on. Now that you have the assembly put back together, we can put it back in the dryer. To put the assembly in, first thing we're going to do is reach in and hook the spring on. And then we can put the spacer with the screw in. We're going to use the 5 16 inch nut driver to guide this over and line it up with the hole. Once you have the screw tightened down, you want to make sure that the shoulder washer isn't jammed up and that it moves freely. Then we can put the belt back on. To put the belt on, we're just going to put the belt in between the finger and the pulley and wrap it around the pulley. And then you want to make sure that the belt goes on the opposite side of the motor pulley. And we're going to grab the idle arm assembly and pull it over. 
and loop the belt over the motor pulley. Once you have it in place, we can put the access panel back on. You just want to line it up, and then we can use the quarter inch nut driver to put the screws in. Now that we have the access panel back on, when you test the dryer, if you notice that the drum's not spinning, it could be that the belt slipped into the groove on the drum, and now it's too long to spin the drum. So we're gonna have to open up the front panel and lift up the top and make sure the belt's not in the groove. We're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver to take out the screws that hold the front panel on. Now we can take the front panel off. We just have to lift it up a little bit so the clips come out of the top and it drops down. Once you have it free, you can set it back down. And then we're going to carefully swing it out of the way. There's enough wire here. So you can just swing it around and lay it across the side of the cabinet. Now that you have the front panel off, we're going to use a ratchet with an extension, a 3 8 inch socket, to reach up in each corner and take out the screws and hold the top on. Now that we have the screws out, we're going to lift the top up. If you want, you can set a towel across here and lean it against the wall. You just need to be careful because there's no hinges on this model. So you have to lift up the top and support it either with a towel or we're going to put a lanyard in here so it doesn't fall. Now that we have the top up and supported, you can see the wear mark where the belt is supposed to be, but it slipped up and fell into the groove. We're just going to take a small flathead screwdriver and carefully get underneath the belt and lift it up and then pull it back over the wear mark. Just want to follow it down all the way to the sides of the drum as far as you can. And then turn the drum and make sure the belt stays on the wear mark. Once you're sure you have it centered on the wear mark, we can put the dryer back together. To put the top down, we're just going to carefully take the lanyard off and then lower the top down. Once you have it in place, we can use the ratchet with the extension and 3 8 inch socket to put the screws back in that hold the top on. Once you have this one on, we can do the other side. To put the front panel back on, we're just going to grab it and swing it around. And then you want to make sure that the little tabs right here line up with the cutouts in the top. Now we're going to put it in like we took it off. We're going to put it at a little bit of an angle. Make sure the clips go in and it doesn't drop down. Once you have it in place, we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in. Once you have the dryer put back together, you can plug it back in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.